hot and it's heavy. Oh my god, my hairline. Looks like this. It's pretty fierce. Let me get my other thing to wear. But yeah, these are the jackets that I'm going to start selling on my website. I think they're going to be around 40 because the fringe is pretty expensive and it's hard to sew on. But if you would like one, feel free to email me at info at grantcarbon.com or go to my website, grantcarbon.com, shameless self-promotion. Everyone, <laughs> and welcome back to Grease and Gill. I, I mean grill. <laughs> Welcome back to Grease and Grill. Today we are gosh, um, um. Today we're going to be cooking a beautiful ramen dish and some gorgeous, absolutely stunning green tea. So join me if you will as we make these delicacies. Let's begin. We're going to start with the ramen. So what we're going to need to start out with is a huge pan. Well, because this is actually what Madame Queer uses to beat her face. Water. Me and Bay. So the first thing that you want to do is just dunk a little bit of your weave into the water to just kind of flavor it. It's going to give it this nice, smooth, and smoky flavor to the ramen. Japanese secret. Vegetable bouillon. Now vegetable bouillon looks like this. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's actually the color of Aaliyah's natural hair and the texture. So we're just going to throw that in. Oh my freaking god. This wig, ooh, what you do is aggressively cut this carrot. So cut it kind of like you're cutting your husband's um, personality. Add in some ketchup, which is absolutely amazing, just for flavor and for texture. It's absolutely great. It makes the water look like a placenta, which is very high in nutrients. If you can see, a little bit of almond milk. This is all the rage right now, and it gives a little bit of creaminess to uh, the soup. Cake actually so graciously uh, lended me this almond milk. She actually just squeezed out the fluid from her lips, and I'm so grateful. I can make sure that your hair gets as close to the burner as possible. That way, you'll set your house on fire, and you go and look fierce. It'll take some absolutely gorgeous photo shoot pictures. My soup is cooking, my soup is cooking, my soup is cooking, cause my body's too bootylicious on your bang. Should turn a nice kind of beige tone. All right, so now I'm gonna add some ramen to this soup. It actually is the exact same color and texture of my eyebrow hair. Uh, see the resemblance? And I am just going to throw it in. It also transforms into a million little leeches when you put it in. So when you consume it, it actually sucks all of the blood out of your body and you will be snatched for the gods. I'm gonna go over to my fresh bread cabinet and add just a little bit of bread to my soup because why not? Bread goes great with soup, right? Right! Now for this step, you're gonna wanna cut these marshmallows. Uh, you can either use a knife or a Magnolia Crawford's nose contour. So glitter is an absolutely fabulous seasoning for soup. It actually adds a bit of a tangy flavor, but I'm running extremely low on this color, which is MAC Reflex Turquatic, and I feel like it'll add a really nice blue tone to the soup because it'll match my lips, and that way I will be ingesting Sparkles. So, if you are not adding glitter to your soup, darling, you are not doing drag. It's going to pour that in. What's really nice about this glitter is that it colors your ramen noodles for you. So I'm gonna get a close up on that. Do you see how those noodles are somewhat metallic? So while that soup is cooking, we are going to start on our green tea. Woo! Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is grab a mug that I have so conveniently placed right behind me. So, uh, we're just gonna go with the basic black today. <laughs> That's what my ex-husband said. So first we're gonna wanna fill it with a bit of water. Just filling my mug with water. It's really simple. A few more vegetable bouillons. So I'm gonna add about two in total. And the great thing about vegetable bouillon is that it gives a very, very nice salty taste. And sodium is perfect when your pores are already caked in Krylon TP paint stick. So 
So I'm just putting that in the mug. <sighs> wow. Delicious. All right, so now that I put some toilet paper in my mug, which actually eliminates all the toxins from the water, I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of caramel on this. Caramel is actually an ancient Japanese delicacy. It's known to uh, cure many diseases. And it's also known to start some diseases. A Starbucks barista, I'm going to drink my absolutely fabulous delicacy. You know what? I'm going to save this for later. I'm going to place this in my warming drawer and just say, you know, we'll have this in a bit. So, opening the warming drawer with your process of keeping this in the warming drawer creates green tea. So, I know, I just blew your mind, but it's kind of what I do. So, let's see. Okay, so this is how our ramen is looking. Not bad at all. Um, although the glitter kind of disappeared, <laughs> just like it will in your intestines. And I am going to add a lime to this. So, yeah, there's that. And, yeah, we're actually going to turn off the heat now. Um, and I'm going to, well, I don't know, throw in an egg or two. Let's go back to the fridge and see what else I can add. So now I'm going to add a little bit of Brittany's foundation color. She was so sweet to lend this to me, but I am actually just going to take it. It's actually the same price as her uh, gorgeous foundation that she uses. This is just a Trader Joe's vanilla and cream yogurt. And I'm just going to rip this open. And just throw that in. Yeah, that's, uh, that's absolutely lovely. Wash my hands, because <laughs> I am not a dirty girl, <laughs> like porcelain, and I'm just going to dry them off. So these are actually super helpful as well. These soy sauce packets are absolutely wonderful. What you can do is just take this off the heat so the plastic doesn't completely melt, and just drop them into the soup. And that is actually it. What we're gonna do is also put this in the warming drawer, uh, 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 uh. and open the warming drawer with our fabulous green tea and put it in. Uh. Mommy chickens are the boys to the yard and they like it. So now I'm going to just dive in. I call this broccoli the Amanda Bynes broccoli because it actually disappears from the public eye and then comes back every once in a while. Absolutely delicious. You know what goes perfectly with Robin? This is Trader Joe's roasted seaweed snack. Mm. Sponsored. Not sponsored. Sponsor me. Basically, this Trader Joe's roasted seaweed snack is absolutely stunning and it complements this dish amazingly. It's only 99 cents from Trader Joe's and it comes with like 50 sheets of seaweed and I just devour it. I absolutely love it. I mean, I just indulge. Since when did I get jiggly caliente teeth? Mm. You know what I need after all of that health? I am just so detoxed. I feel absolutely wonderful. I am actually just going to do myself a little favor. I made these donuts earlier, and you know, having all that health, I just wanted, you know, a little bit more health. So, I'm just gonna dive in, if I will. I'm gonna try to leave cake, I just can't. She's my sister. Oh baby, I like it. She's so excited. Don't try to hide it. I'ma make it mad. Are we sure this isn't a gluttony video? 
Until I see you all next time, remember to have a draw to do without apology. Bye. And be sure to follow me on Instagram at gcarpinmua. And who cares about the other people? <laughs> Those links will be in the description. Bye.